Hi everybody, Hi Ho Silver here. I made it back to the home base and uh, picked up a couple of packages that came in. One is this America the Beautiful 5 ounce. Pretty good, Cumberland Gap. It's got the uh, marking there on the edge. Well, I had stopped buying these for a while in the bullion uh, releases, but their quality has gone up, so I grabbed that one from Bay Precious Metals. I also, and this is why I'm making this vid tonight, I got a new mold and I poured into it. So we'll take a look at that. This is a very large skull. It's gonna make uh, pieces from six up to maybe nine or so ounces. Pretty cool, good quality. Let's go ahead and pour one and see what it comes out like. Whenever you're pouring into something with this kind of detail here, like is on the teeth, you want to make sure you're nice and hot. In general, you want to be nice and hot with the molds. It uh, gets a cleaner looking pour, plus it also helps the silver release. So I do this, I put a, another piece up on top and that uh, steers the heat up and along the edges of the molds. Helps, uh, especially in the first pour. So here it is, the first pour of the Bunker Skull. Silver's at about 1100 degrees, pouring good. Nice, I got about what the capacity of this would be. Could have gone slightly more. Put some nice lines on that, and now let's uh, drop that into the quenching pool. Nice. So I'm super pleased, it came out great. Looks pretty menacing down there under those ice cubes. So let's take a look, there it is. I'm gonna dry it off and, uh, and then we'll weigh it, and then I'll go tumble it. I'll probably pour a few more of these. I want to do maybe 20. So this is the first. Very cool. This is before polishing. Nice detail. I think these are going to be a great piece. Very cool. This uh, supplier, PMC Supplies on eBay, has high quality products. So I'm hoping this mold will work out well. Those hopes uh, didn't last long, unfortunately. Here on the second pour, I did this right after the first pour, so the mold is still nice and hot. Got another decent pour, felt real good about it, was gonna be fine, but when uh, the piece came out of the mold, it brought a little teeny bit of the graphite with it in that real detailed teeth area. You can see over on the right side here on the mold, left side on the silver. So that is a huge disappointment. I contacted them and asked if uh, they would exchange it. I would love to try this mold again. I'll let you know what I hear back. But I got one out of it, so who knows? This could be a uh, one of one right here. I'll sell this at some point, but not until I get an answer to see if I ever get to make more. If I can't, I'll probably keep this one piece. I've not kept any. Anyway, it's got some nice lines on it. I was excited to, to be making these. Hopefully I still will. We'll have to have a little bit of drama in the meantime. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care everybody. We'll see you again.